Howdy folks, welcome back. So I got you here at the 21st again at 0 hundred hours and in a previous video I showed you an object that entered over here into the sun's corona. Now I've been noticing that when these objects enter the sun's corona that they produce a CME and I was about to say something in my last video but I don't like to go around predicting things but I had a feeling that this might produce a CME and we're going to go ahead and start this loop here because I want you to see this object enter and boom it enters here reaction on the other side I'll even speed it up a little faster here so BAM it comes in boom and reaction maybe a little slower Okay, see that as this enters over here, bam. Okay, then again here in this CME, everything's all granulated and pixelated and goes smooth at the moment of the CME. So watch that little effect right there. See how it smooths and goes back to pixelization again. One more time, there you go. Now I freeze framed it here because caught in this coronal mass ejection is another object and you can see the instrument reacting to it right here. So as I move this forward I want you to watch this little white sphere come out of here. It's progressing there, it's still reacting to it. All of a sudden you can start making it out here. And in here you can see the bow shock starting to form around it as this material goes out faster than this object does. So you see this little black bow shock, this V shape, and you can clearly see there's curvature on the back side that there's a nice round object right there. Next, as it starts to move away, you can see how, all right, you can see how this bow shock goes around it and starts to move away. Whoops. Next, all right, so go forward here. Now notice as this object moves out, you'll see material swirling around the back side of it too. Right there, you can see stuff swirling around it. Okay, and then as it comes out, watch, it starts to travel across this way. I'll speed it up a little faster, and instead of coming out straight, with the material it actually crosses and goes this way see that and it winds up over here okay okay so as this object moves out and goes across and out of the way a second object comes out so we'll go forward here there's this first one moving out and away <clears throat> and then here is a second object you can see this bow shock starting to form on it too here's the curvature on the back side you can see how it drapes all the way around it too Okay, so now we're going to focus on the second object that comes out. The first one goes across, the second one comes out, and if you watch, it actually comes out, turns, and goes back in. It's a little hard to see, but right there it turns and goes back in up here. So the first object goes across and leaves, second one turns and goes back in. I'm going to speed it up a little faster, it makes it a little more easier to see. Maybe a little slower on that one. So we got an object enters the sun, causes a CME, two other objects come out, one cuts across the field here, one makes a loop and goes back into the sun. So I wanted to bring that to you and point out some of the other factors that I found in this CME. I had a feeling watching this thing go in the sun earlier today that it would cause a CME and when I came back to check the instrument today sure enough there was a CME. So I thought I'd bring that to you. I hope you enjoyed. Love you all and I'll see you next video.